This project will show you how to attach three standard LEDs into a ready-made bag. It's done by stitching the circuit straight onto the inside of the bag fabric. It's a good project for anybody who understands how to do a basic circuit already, um, but who wants to perhaps be a little bit more adventurous and learn how to add a series of LEDs into a circuit. This project uses a bag made out of PVC or leather. It's best not to use a bag made out of a fabric that will fray, as that will affect the quality of the, of the finished product. This particular bag has a zip on the front which opens out and there is a small pocket on the inside. Um, and this, this is where the LEDs are going to go on the front of the bag and the pocket quite conveniently sits behind that. And that's going to allow us to hide the LEDs uh, and the, the circuit on the inside of the bag. So it's not essential to have a pocket on the inside of the bag, but that's going to be quite useful um, to, to hide the circuit with. We're also going to need a switched cell holder. Um, and you can see here the switch on the cell holder that's going to switch the circuit on and off. And to go into the cell holder, we're also going to need um, a cell. We're going to need three LEDs, and in this particular instance we're going to use three pink LEDs and the conductive thread that we're going to stitch the circuit together with um, and you need probably about 50 centimeters of the conductive thread. You'll also need some um, sewing thread, ordinary sewing thread, um, that's the same colour as the bag that you're actually making. I'm going to show you what the circuit will look like using the component parts and paper. So uh, doing the circuit away from the bag because and the size of the bag and the fiddliness of the fabric can make understanding how to do the circuit a little bit confusing. So what I've got is my cell holder um, that I've put onto a piece of paper um, and I've marked on my negative and my positive using a pen. I'm just going to position my three LEDs. So I've already wound these uh, beforehand. Um, I've also marked on, just for convenience sake during this little demonstration, um, that the red side uh, being the positive side and the black side being the negative side. So just to, to help understand um, which uh, side of the circuit we're actually working on. So I'm going to start off by uh, working on the negative side of the circuit. So if we were doing our stitching, this is where I would be starting. So on the negative side of our circuit, we would need to have stitches that are going to join up the negative side um, of the cell holder to each of the negative sides of the LEDs. So it would be one row of thread that joins from the negative side of the cell holder all the way around to the negative side of each of the LEDs. Um, and, and each time we get to an LED um, or on the, the ring on the cell holder, you're just doing some over sewn stitches, a nice tight ones, to hold the, uh, the, the LED in position. The positive side of the circuit is a separate piece of thread that comes from the positive side of the cell holder and goes round to each of the positive sides of the LEDs and again the over sewing stitches that will be used to hold each of these LEDs in place um, and the, the cell holder itself. The important thing here is that the um, positive and negative sides uh, of the circuit, um, so the threads, must not cross over each other or touch in any way because that will short the circuit out. There are different configurations which you can use uh, in terms of where you put your cell holder and your LEDs and it really depends on um, where you're putting your circuit inside the product. Um, so for the bag that I'm making, um, I'm restricted by the pocket and the actual size of the bag. Um, but for example, I could have my cell holder on the end um, and my LEDs um, coming along the side here as opposed to the cell holder being in this area here um, as in the previous demonstration. First of all, I'm just going to cut away um, the stitches for one side of the pocket that's on the inside, just to cut these away so that this, this section here opens out. I don't want to take the whole pocket off, uh, but just enough to allow me access to this area in here where the circuit's going to be stitched. What I'm going to do once I've undone this side is just to, to pin this section back just so that it, it all stays out of my way um, as, I, as I stitch my circuit. 
On the front of my bag I'm just going to make some small holes with some scissors um, or, or a sharp pointy object um, and this is where my um, LEDs are going to push through. So the holes need to be big enough um, to be able to get the LED legs through but not too small um, because we don't want the LED legs to be held too closely together. I'm going to push the LEDs um, through from the right side of the bag through to the wrong side, so the legs are sitting on the wrong side. I've turned my bag back round uh, so it's inside out and here are my three LEDs uh, with their legs poking through. I'm now going to use some round nose pliers to twist each of the short legs uh, round into a loop. So to do this I'm just going to hold the top of the um, short leg uh, in the tip of my pliers and just twist the pliers round to twist the leg into a loop and then just pull the pliers out. And I'm going to just press that flat onto the surface of the bag. I've now used my pliers to twist all three legs of my LEDs. That's the negative legs, uh, the shorter legs, uh, are all now twisted uh, in, in, into tight loops. I've left my positive legs um, uncurled at the moment simply because it helps me to remember which is the negative leg and which is the positive leg. This way I can't get them confused. I'm now going to use my conductive thread to stitch each of the negative loops and then go up to the negative point uh, on my switch cell holder. I'm starting off by stitching my first LED. I've already done a, a couple of stitches here. Just doing some over sewing stitches which go into the lining of the fabric. Uh, of the bag, so not through to the the main part of the bag at all. We don't want to be able to see those stitches on the right side. Um, and it also goes into the loop that I've made on the LED. Once I've done five or six stitches to hold the first LED in place, I'm just going to do some small running stitches. Uh, again, not going through to the main part of the bag, just to take me up to where my next LED is positioned. And then I'm going to do the same thing by doing over sewing stitches into the loop on the LED. It's very important that my over sewing stitches are pulled nice and tight um, so we don't want the stitches to be uh, very loose and baggy. I've now completed sewing the third LED down uh, on the negative leg. I'm just going to take the thread up to the negative side of my cell holder and I'm going to go through the hole in the cell holder doing my over sewn stitches to hold it in place, remembering of course to make sure my stitches are pulled nice and tight as I'm stitching. Next thing is to do the positive side of my circuit, so I'm going to twist these three legs as I did before and then join them together with conductive thread and then up to the uh, positive on the uh, cell holder up here. So now the circuit is made, we can put the cell into the cell holder uh, by making sure that the positive side of the cell is going into the positive side of the cell holder. It just slides into position uh, and then I can use the switch on the um, side of the cell holder um, to switch the LEDs on. If you just look inside the bag we can see the LEDs um, are working. The final stage of making the bag will be to just unpin the pocket and to reposition it back into position along this side and then to hand sew it into place. So here I'm just doing a back stitch just to reattach the pocket back into position and you can see that just on the inside there there is the circuit with the uh, access to the little switch in order to be able to turn the, um, uh, the circuit on and off.